Hey guys, today I'm just going to show you how to import a CSV file on your uh, Google Drive. So sometimes you get these files, they kind of look like this, and they've got these commas separating each of these, which is exactly what this is, comma separated value. So if I want to make this editable in a spreadsheet, I can do this a few different ways. Now, if you have the Chrome browser, you can simply just drag this in. And if conversion is off, um, I'll show you a way to convert this because if we click on this now, it'll only let us re-download it. So uh, if I want to convert this now into a CSV, what I can do is right click on it and open with Google Sheets. <clears throat> And here's my CSV file now. Um, it's labeled up here, and you can start making edits and, and everything. Another way to do this is if you were in Google Sheets and you wanted to just import this sheet into a new workbook, um, we could do that as well. So I could call this my imported sheet and click File import and then we find the file on the computer so I had this on the desktop I'm just going to change the view here to details and get my asset import and here it gives me a preview you can also if it doesn't look right you can change these uh, to have a different tab uh, so for example this is how you don't want it to look where everything is kind of there each line is a row but they're not separated so you'll want to change this whether it's comma separated value usually it is um, depending on what it is that you're importing but then those will go in there but take note of the import action here this is where it can create a brand new spreadsheet or here it's going to import put a brand new sheet inside here so we've got sheet one and it's going to create our import sheet or we can replace the current sheet so whatever content is on here is going to get replaced and uh, we can append rows to the current sheet or replace data starting at the selected row. So if I wanted to, say, have this come in at a different line other than one up here, then I could go to line 15 and then uh, replace data at select itself. And then I can go import. Now here it's going to come in as, as line one. But those that's a, a few different ways of importing these. Uh, if you have conversion turned on, I don't like to turn it on just because if I'm uploading, dragging files into here, I want them as the original format. But uh, you can have this confirmed before each upload. So when I drag it, it's going to say convert document. So I can say it this way. And this is just going to create an, yet another version. So that's a few ways of importing your CSV sheets. I hope this helps.